And I think we'll, uh, we'll begin. So just as an introduction, I guess I could do the slides myself. Uh, this is a postgraduate course on inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, so my assumption here is, is that um, most of the people uh, have uh, patients who are in this room now or have patients who have inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, it's been a uh, very uh, uh, interesting um, uh, life for me with inflammatory bowel disease because this disease was uh, described at the institution where I worked. This is a copy of the original paper uh, published in 1932 in the American uh, Medical uh, Journal, American Medical Association uh, Journal, um, uh, uh, with the three authors as you see. Um, those three authors were listed uh, alphabetically. There was, uh, I mean, I'm not old enough to uh, have been there during this time, but uh, uh, there are a lot of stories that float around about how it got listed like this and who has really described it. Um, uh, but th that's the way the, the Board of Trustees had decided that the article was going to be listed. I can tell you that uh, <clears throat> Dr. Oppenheimer was a uh, urology resident rotating through pathology who just got his name on the paper, really had nothing to do with the disease uh, at all. Uh, but um, uh, Dr. Ginsburg and Krohn uh, were the two big players at that time. Uh, Ginsburg was still operating when I was an intern uh, in first year resident. And I can tell you that this is, when you went into the operating room, if you called it Crohn's disease, he kicked you out of the operating room. Because for him, it was always Ginsburg's disease. Uh, in fact, he was the one who recognized that there was something going on that was different than what, we usually, what they usually saw at that point in time. Um, but the, the way that the politics worked at that time, uh, that's the way it, it came. This is a picture of these three gentlemen. On the left was Oppenheimer, in the middle is Krohn, uh, on the right is uh, uh, Ginsburg. Um, they, uh, it's one of the, uh, not very many pictures of them together because <laughs> there was a little animosity that was generated with this. No one had any idea that it would be labeled Crohn's disease. Uh, it was obviously, it was uh, regional enteritis at the time. Uh, but uh, when it became very well known, uh, they, there was, I don't want to say love loss, but there wasn't a lot of love loss anyway. Um, and this is one of the few pictures, this is I think actually on Cronin's 90th uh, birthday, and they all uh, sort of got together. Neither of them are alive uh, now. But inflammatory bowel disease has been uh, part of my life since I uh, did my training in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, as an attending, uh, and it's continued uh, in the realm of laparoscopic surgery, and that's one of the really exciting things uh, that has happened in uh, com complex uh, GI uh, laparoscopy. Uh, is that we are now able to offer this uh, technology uh, to some patients who are going to uh, uh, need uh, multiple operations. Uh, scarring is a real issue. Uh, as you know, there's a, you'll hear from our, our medical uh, uh, friends who are going to talk about it, the medical aspects. There's a uh, bimodal distribution in terms of age, so there's a lot of young patients who really uh, care about the uh, body image and things like that. So uh, uh, it's been really a boon. Um,